Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. In this week's video, we're gonna be doing a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. And our box is coming from the great Dayton, Ohio. Always excited to get from there. So let's go ahead and open this up. First look, it looks like we're going to have some colorful costume. You guys know I love color and I love some of these costume pieces. So let's go ahead and set this to the side and dig in. If you are interested in a piece, be sure to check the description where you can find links to my Poshmark and my Etsy shops. You can also email me and we will be doing our next giveaway in the next week's video. Always excited to do those giveaways with you guys. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna start off with a lovely pair of costume earrings. It actually looks like it's missing a piece here at the top. So I'm gonna start the lot box with this pair. If you're interested in a lot box piece, you will have to email me for those pieces. They will not be on my shops. Lovely abalone bracelet. It's kind of giving me like a Brighton look with the hearts and the swirls, but I don't see any markings for Brighton. So I will do this one for $3. And you will find your best deals here on my channel, so be sure to email me. All right, we'll start the earring pile with this one, our first single earring. Looks like we might have something shiny in here, maybe some onyx. All right, looks like we've got some 925 sterling silver there, and it's also stamped CFJ. Not sure of CFJ, but lovely earring. And let's hope for a match for that one. Looks like there's some marcasite in there as well. Great find. Next, we have this lovely statement necklace. Definitely giving me that Y2K look, early 2000s, RMN. I think that's Roman. Another vintage brand that I like to resell. Unfortunately, this one is missing a stone. So I'm going to put that one in a lot. And I do offer crafting lots as well. So if you're interested in a crafting lot, I make those custom as well. So be sure to email me. And if you're more interested in resellable boxes, I can do that as well. This is a lovely beaded bracelet. And I want to say that they're plastic. They're a little cooler to the touch though. Not getting much for reading on those. Just our Presidium there. I'll do this one for $3. Another statement necklace, another early 2000s look. I'll do this one for $1. Lovely bracelet here again, stretchy bracelet. I'll do that one for $1. And a fun costume earring. Love the color on there. Now we have a plastic beaded bracelet. I'm going to put that one in a lot. This one looks like it's got some pearls on it. Let's scratch them together to see if there's any grit. They do feel like real pearls. I'm going to put this one in a lot. It would be a fun crafting piece. We get lots of these bangles in these boxes. And I usually just place them over in the lot, but I know that there is lots of fun crafts you can do with those. I'm gonna put that one in a lot. This looks like maybe silver. I think I see a mark on there. Another 925 and it's marked SU. So great hoop there. And I get a lot of those 925 silver hoops, so I do like to mix and match. I do save my mismatched sterling and gold earrings. It's always great to have for scrap. All right, that's magnetic, so we're going to put that in a lot. Always nice to have those magnets for quick testing. Okay, that says Disney. And Disney's always great for resale. And this one's super cute. My kids are already begging to go to Disney. So this might be something I say for them. All right. Fun dyed shell. More stretchy bracelets. This one will go to my daughter. You guys know I love sharing with my little ones. Love hearing that you guys enjoy it as well. 
Another fun dyed shell look. Let's see. And Taylor. So that is another great brand for resale. And I love the turquoise look. This is definitely plastic, it feels like. We'll test it with the Presidium. It looks like it's going to be plastic and then the dyed shell in there. So I'll do this one for $5. I'm going to have lots of little costume earrings, it looks like. Another fun colored one. All these look to be costume. And then we have a bangle here. Another one for the lot. Two more. And you can always just check these with the magnet. Easy way to move through these boxes quicker. Another magnetic one. Got a large hoop earring here. With some shiny rhinestones. Don't see any markings on this one. And I do feel a little bit of a pull. This one is fun. Kind of give me a southwestern look. With the leather and the metal. And it's already broken. So we're going to add it to our pile. No mark on that costume ring. This one looks like a tree. So adorable. I love when they have those artistic twists to them. These look like some pretty rhinestones. Let's test it. Moving up on the glass. And it looks like we might be missing one as well. So we'll keep a lookout for it at the bottom. I do like that style. Another one that's going to be missing some pieces. So going to go to a lot. Now this is just fun. I will most likely keep this one for my son. He's really into like abstract and fun little figurines. When it comes to jewelry, he's got a whole little jar collected of all his little bits that he has. We're going to go in for our next handful. And we might have a tangle in here. So let's just see what we can get out first. Let's work on this one. This large kind of statement choker look. If I can get it out. These were pretty popular a couple years ago, and I always like a little bold necklace or bracelet or ring. You guys know I love rings, but I really like this one. I like the red colors on there. I'll do this one for $3. It's definitely give me a costume look. All right, this says $4. Got lovely tangles today. Not too bad. All right, looks like these earrings go with the necklace, and it says it's $5. So I will do this one for $1. It does look like it's on tact, and of course, it's the three piece set there. And I love your guys' suggestions of doing live shows maybe after my kiddos go to bed at night. So you guys let me know what times you guys would prefer live shows. I'm kind of just doing my research right now. I've been kind of chugging along, getting close to those live shows. But of course, motherhood always comes first for me right now with my little babies. All right, this looks like some eyeglass holders. So I'm going to put that one in a lot. If you're interested in it, I'll do it for $1. But I always love hearing your guys' feedback. I feel I've grown so much with your guys' help. So I always appreciate it. And the knowledge you guys spread, of course, on this channel. All right, there we go. Got these little guys out. These are super colorful, vintage look. No markings on it. We can check the little rhinestones. Yep, no reading on there. So I'll do those for $1. This looks like it's going to be a bunch of little chains here tangled up all right another eyeglass holder it looks like and another one so we've got three here this one's really fun fun colors going on i'm going to add it to a lot all of those will be for one dollar oh my goodness look how cute this is it's a mini harmonica 
My husband actually had a couple when he was a kid growing up and he ended up handing them down to our kiddos. So they are going to lose their minds over this mini one. That is so fun. I'm not sure that brand. I'll have to look up that brand, but I know these little ones aren't too expensive. Little keychain ones. Doesn't look like it's um, a high end one, but really love those. Super fun. I need to see how I can disinfect it before I let my little ones play with it. But very cool. Cannot wait to show them that. And they know when I come out of the room, they're they're ready. What, what happened? What'd you find? Everybody's all excited. Who doesn't love a good treasure hunt? All right, that one's magnetic. So we're going to put that one in a lot. Piece of trash. All right, now I'm going to work to untangle this for just a few moments. up we have a costume necklace drop it's got some wear on that class so i'm gonna put that one in a lot i like this flat matte look on here jj i'm not sure of that brand i don't recall i have definitely seen it before so if you guys remember go ahead and leave that comment but i like the chain link look on there i'll do that for two dollars we have the classic really long beaded necklace so i'm gonna put that one in a lot for one dollar and then we had a pretty gold chain. It looks plated. Pulling on that magnet a little bit there. But we will test it and see. It looks like the clasp is really pulling on it. Okay. Let's try it with some 10K. And it might be a plated gold as well. It is very shiny, pretty gold. I don't see it really moving much. So let's go ahead and scratch it again and try it with some 14K. Some light scratches on there, but I'm thinking this is gonna be a, a gold plated piece. But I will do some further research, especially with that class being magnetic. So again, I'm thinking it's plated, but nice piece to find. Really nice necklace. All right, I pulled this one out. This one is definitely going to go for... This one is going to go to my kiddos. I did break the clasp off, but I'll fix that later on. Lovely little seahorse there. Okay, we did have two tangles in there. Another long beaded necklace. Looks like it's knotted together. And I'll do that one for $1. All right, there's that chain that we found in there. Looks like there is a mark. It says Korea. And it is magnetic. So I'm going to put that one in a lot. I really love this costume one, especially with this cute little gold clasp with it. I didn't see any marks on there, but really adorable. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep that one for my little girl. My kids are making out really good in Dayton this week. Glass bead neck, glass bead eyeglass holder. Again, I'll do this for $1. And we have a broken chain. It is magnetic, gonna go to a lot. Then we had a plethora of costume earrings in there. Go ahead and put that one in the earring pile. Hope for some matches on those. Another beaded necklace. This one looks pretty beat up though, so we're gonna put that one in a lot. That one's magnetic as well. This one's most likely gonna go to my niece. She's a little more edgier, but she is very girly girl. All right, I'll do that one for $1. That would be super fun for crafting. Really fun pendant there. I'll do that one for $1. I'm 
We have two left. Magnetic bangle going to a lot. And a pretty costume piece. Avon, so I'll give that one to my daughter. All right, we are just going to dump the rest of this. It's at the bottom here, so we'll just go ahead and dump it. Always important to get all those little bits, and we ended up finding that stone we were looking for earlier for that earring. Let's keep digging through. That is a super fun Domino's. Another one I'm probably going to give to my son. I have a really bad problem with spoiling them in these boxes. Fun Christmas earring. It is a single earring, though, so let's hope for the match. We haven't really found too many matches today, which can be a little surprising coming from Dayton. Magnetic earring. Stretchy floral bracelet. Let's see. I do see some missing stones, but this type of bracelet i've actually sold a handful of these and they're definitely still in style so really like the design on there let's hope for the missing stones at the bottom and some really vibrant colored stones there i'll do this one for three dollars i think we might have had a match for each one of these in the earring pile so we'll add it to the earring pile I like the little smiley face on the back of that rose. It looks like it came off of some type of pin. Another crystal drop plastic earring. And I do a lot of sewing these days, learning how to sew. So I'm going to keep that button. All right. A Alex and Ani bracelet stuck in an earring with a mystery hair. And another earring, so we've got a lot going on. I'm going to put this in a lot. And simple little letter A, 2015 Alex and Ani. I'll do that one for $2. And I have sold lots of Alex and Ani. Right, looks like a drop earring. It's missing its other piece. This is a nice necklace. I really like the Earthstones Premier Designs. And I have had a handful of those Premier Designs. Some of them aren't worth much, but some of the vintage pieces and these Earthstones can be worth around $20 plus. Dollars. So definitely look into those brands if you're new to reselling. Ooh, look at this stunner. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. I love the daisies, of course. Montana Silversmith. So I think Montana Silversmith does some really nice silver plating and gold plating. So I will have to look this up. And they go for around 50 to 100 plus dollars. So this is a great find and it's definitely be something hard for me not to keep for myself. Lovely piece, gorgeous detail work in there. Very nice find. Classic. Let's see what that says. Panama Jack. I'll do that one for one dollar. Right, we got an earring stuck in here. It's giving me a silver look, but also kind of looks plated. Don't see any markings on it. I like the design on there. All right, we've got a locket. I love lockets, they're my favorite. Nothing in there. I never get anything exciting in my lockets. All right, I like this one though, butterflies, crystals. Another fun one maybe for my niece, but I will do it on here for $3. Got out our vintage looking necklace. Double layered. Really like those beads. Looks like cotton candy swirls. I'll do that one for $2. And we did find a match to this one earlier. So I'll do that one for $1. 
Oh my gosh, how gorgeous. Adorable little watermelon there. Let's hope for the match. Little angel pin. Seen a lot of those in these boxes. Maybe some leather on there. I'll do that one for $2. Love the colors on there. Okay, bracelet gonna go to a lot for $1. All right, this is gonna be a, a nice one. Kendra Scott, lovely Kendra Scott necklace. And usually she is fairly pricey. I would say 30 plus dollars for this necklace. Great find. And even if you're finding lower end name brands, you can really make those into lot boxes, jewelry jars. Uh, be creative with these boxes. Give it a chance, I promise. You should be able to sell most of what you get. And that is not sponsored. I promise you guys, I am not a sponsored collaborator with Goodwill as much as I would love to be. Adorable watermelon, it looks like, is the theme today. And it's Pura Vita. And love that brand. I'll do this for $3. Adorable watermelon. All right. Another fun crafting piece that looks like it's broken off. Some more costume earrings. This looks like a pretty costume necklace. Very shiny. Reminds me of Claire's jewelry. This is pretty though. I'll do that one for $1. This one's interesting. It's like wire wrapped. I'll do that one for $2. Butterfly earring, lots of butterflies, just screams spring in this box. My favorite time of the year besides fall, of course. Another Pura Vita, this time with the sea turtle. So cute, I'll do that one for $2. All right, dyed shell necklace, I'll do that for $1. Let's check this one with the magnet. I don't think it's magnetic. I don't see any markings on there, but I like that design. Looks like we're gonna have a couple of earrings mixed in here. Okay, we do have a pair. I'll do that for $1. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful. All right. If we don't find the match to this, I will definitely be turning this one into a pendant. How gorgeous would that be as a pendant? Stunning piece there. Let's look for a marking. See if there's one anywhere. Assuming this might be the alpaca, Mexico, silver, which is going to be a mix of silver and different metals. Might not even have any silver in it at all, but gorgeous. Love the abalone shell mixed in there. Lovely piece. Hair tie that's stretchy. Crown. This is Leah Sophia on here. And some pearls if I can get them out. Some pearls there. And then Leah Sophia, I'll do that one for $2. Looks like it's a plain chain with a little pendant there. Some more earrings. Let's look at this one. Very shiny. Don't see any marks on it. Let's test the stone. And you should always be laying your jewelry down to test. All right, that's gonna be in that glass range. Oh, it looks like we found maybe, where was it? Looks like maybe we found it. Yay. Cool. Beautiful earrings. Got some little stones in here, so let's see. Okay, I'm not getting much of a reading on there. All right, it's marked KS. I wonder if that would be Kendra Scott again. 
I'll have to do an image search. Let's hope for the match for that one. Love the jewels on the costume earring. Stunning little flower with the dyed shell again. I'll do that one for $3. Oh, I love the colors on this. It says 925FAS. Got a handful of those. Oh, it's going to be another one that's going to be so hard not to keep. I'll probably at least keep it for Easter. So cute. I'm a sucker for those silver bracelets. As you can see, I keep a lot of them. Another earring. Looks like a glass bead down here at the bottom. And it is magnetic. All right, we've got, looks like maybe a cat collar with a little cute bell, adorable. Might let my daughter keep that one for her teddies. Have another mark on here. Okay, it says patent, patent pending, and it says 925. Let's see, tinier print back here. Alex and Ani, okay, 925 Alex and Ani with the crystal drop. I'm not sure if I've ever gotten 925 from Alex and Ani before and this gold plating on it. So this might be a pricier piece. It's kind of giving me like a lapis look on, on that crystal point. All right, reading in glass. So great find there. I was not expecting some silver from Alex and Ani. I love these. Oh, look, we did find the match. KS. So yeah, I'll definitely have to do some research and see if that is Kendra Scott, but lovely pair of earrings there. All right, not a stretch bracelet. Let's check it with the magnet. All right, it is magnetic, but I love the beads in there. Very fun piece. And always be sure to check your wrap bracelet. You guys know I found a couple of these wraps that go for about $100. So check those name brands, even on these little wrap type bracelets. NY necklace. I'm going to put that one in a lot. All right. That's the Four Ocean brand. So this might be some recycled glass beads, beautiful glass beads. And those usually go, I think, for about $10 to $20. So great find there. Oh, it looks like maybe that glued piece that we found earlier might have come off there. Sure looks like it. It's got that silver tone, but I don't think it is silver. Not magnetic. I'll do some further testing on that one. Another drop earring, LS on there. All right, lots of these costume earrings. Always watch out for those pins in these boxes. Go through them slowly. Lovely brooch here. No markings on it, but lovely brooch. I'll do that one for $2. Lisa Leonard. Dream God sized dreams. I'll do that one for $1. Broken bits here. So we're coming down to the bottom. All my favorite little pieces. Found the other earring for that one. Leah Sophia. Do those for $2. It's kind of giving me like a pewter color going on. Don't think we're looking at silver. All right. Looks like some of the clasp is magnetic. I don't think the bracelet is though. Definitely giving me like a pewter look. I like the double layer on there. Nice chain. Gorgeous Japanese style. Maybe pendant. It's got the JG sign on there. 
pretty earring. It says 925. 925 China. Get a lot of those 925 China earrings. Let's check that stone in there. Okay, staying in that glass range. Beautiful hoop. B, little pop on, on there. Looks like maybe another 925 hoop. Yes, 925AV925TI. So I'm not sure about that, but I'll always take those scraps. Costume earring. This looks like it's a watch. It says swap. And don't think I've heard of that brand before. I will most likely be giving this to my son. He's obsessed with clocks lately. And the fact that this has a little clasp on it is going to be right up his alley. How adorable is that little pendant with the flowers? So cute. I'm such a sucker for florals. I'm a big flower girl. Right, let's see. ATI 925 Mexico. So beautiful little flower Mexico. All right, gold tone chain. It is magnetic, so it's going to go to a lot. This is fun. little quartz drop, it looks like. Let's check it with a magnet. Ooh, very magnetic. A fun little quartz bead there. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we found it. How adorable are those for summertime? I cannot take it. So cute. I'll do those for $5. It looks like we're almost down to the bottom here. Looks like we have a broken off necklace, maybe. You definitely turn that maybe into... And I think I might can find a chain for that. Super cute. Look at that stunner. That mother of pearl. Gorgeous. Okay, the earring is magnetic. So unfortunately, that's not gold. But that is a stunning shell right there. I've got some jingle bells, lots of little bits, love those geode looks. And last but not least, we have, looks like, I want to say definitely silver with those beautiful marcasite twist band. Definitely looks like a wedding band. I don't see any marks on the inside, but I do notice there's some ridging right here. So let's see. Okay, it's got that MM mark. I've seen it before. It says 925. And it's got another mark on it. Maybe an R? RC? But I do see the 925 mark. Gorgeous ring there. I don't have my ring sizer, but I want to say it's probably like a size six. Gorgeous, stunning ring there. Another really great find. And these rings can be pretty expensive. I want to say at least 50 plus dollars. So lovely band there. Well, that is going to take us all the way to the bottom of this Dayton, Ohio box. As always, thank you all so much for joining. I'm looking forward to doing another giveaway with you guys next week. And I cannot wait to hear your guys' input on what you would like to see on our next giveaway. If you're new here, we do monthly giveaways. So hit that subscribe button so that you never miss out. And of course, leave me a comment and a like if you like this video. And until next time.